So I wanted to make a short, quick video on how you can actually promote your own music when you self-release it. Like a quick plan, what to do when. It's not my Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today, an extremely busy day. It's already dark outside. We spend the entire day here doing business stuff. Max is here, Ben is new in our team, and it's time for the first competition. I don't know if they let me win or I'm just better, but now let's get to the serious stuff. So, yes, the more serious stuff. Um, it's back to making music. Today I'm just going to jam around a little and get back into the flow. I haven't produced, I mean, I did a couple of recording sessions, but really getting into it and like my ear being fully trained and used to the speakers, it might take a while. So today just playing around with all of the songs that I recorded in those sessions in the past month and figuring out which one of them to finish actually first. So today's video won't be about producing because it, it will be a mess, like jumping from one project to another. So today I wanted to focus on what we've been focusing on as a team for the entire day. And that was like planning releases, scheduling them, promoting them. So I wanted to make a short, quick video on how you can actually promote your own music when you self-release it. Like a quick plan, what to do when, and how to get the, the most out of, of your production and make sure most people listen to it and this way slowly but steady advance as a musician. First up, probably by far the hardest, you need to finish your song. I know we all love to make version A, B, C, D and so forth until infinity, but you need to finish your song and actually bounce out the pre-master. Get your song mastered, you can do it yourself, but I would actually advise to let someone else do it. It's usually like 50 to 100 bucks. And this way you make sure someone else actually double checks it and make sure that it just sounds good and it's ready for release. And then the latest two months before the release date, set a release date and, and stick to it. But two months before, the master should be all done. You should get it back from the mastering engineer and your cover should be all ready. Make sure you make a nice cover that fits to the song, to the style of the song, so that people kind of a little bit at least know what to expect. Don't make it black and red and crosses on it if it's not death metal. If it's Deep House, a Naked Woman or maybe a Sunset works really great. For Big Room, just make, make it flashy. And then the latest, a month or actually should start immediately is like the non-public promotion. This is actually by far the most important and that's what most people underestimate because they usually don't see it. Every label does it, every good artist does it, every management does it. You need to send the song out to your contacts. If you make more club music, send it out to DJ, DJ Pools, and make sure they already play your song and maybe send you back videos that they played it in front of a ton of people. This will be really handy later on when you get to the public stage where you post it on your socials. So really DJs, if you know any personal, send it to them. You can also just send it as a promo. A lot of DJs have like a promo email. They usually listen to the stuff and, and even give feedback sometimes. Radio stations, if your song fits to the radio and maybe if you have personal contact even better just cold calling them is really hard usually you need to pay the radio so that they play your song and you have to pay a lot i never ever did any radio promotion it's just not worth it especially not nowadays by far the biggest and i think like one of the best at the moment is trying to find a big music youtube channel like a channel that has maybe 200,000, 500,000, maybe a million or even more um, subscribers that uploads on a daily basis music that fits to your style. So let's say you make like vocal deep house, then maybe, um, what are they called? Chill something, usually tropical something. Then there's Mr. Revels and a ton of other big YouTube channels. Just send them your music. They get a ton. So it's also here over years building up your connection and delivering good music, the better your song, the easier it will be. But they might pick up your song and you will get a huge initial promotion boost. Then there are Spotify playlists. Um, you can divide them in two, like private Spotify playlist, also here. 
just reach out to the people owning those playlists. You can try and search on Google. You can pay someone to do it for you. You can try to do it yourself. And then there are the Spotify owned playlists that are worth a lot more. Getting in those is quite hard. Usually you need to have good contacts because they actually are not allowed to get songs pitched and it's getting harder and harder every month and more and more people want to be in those playlists because that's actually where the money and music is at right now. Just as an example, one of my very first releases got into the Deep Chill House uh, whatever playlist, which is one of the biggest in Germany. And, and it's now at like 3 million plays, which is huge and amazing. This way you get more followers. With more followers, your next song will be pushed even better into the algorithm of Spotify. It will be picked up and then placed again in more playlists. And this way you can just work your way up. Then also um, in, in that time frame where you do the non-public promotion stuff, like using your contacts, you should also deliver it to your distributor or to the stores or whatever service you're using. It should be in there. I know a lot of services promise to release a song within two or three days. And yes, that's possible. But you don't have any time to promote it and prepare it. And even a good song that isn't promoted will just disappear in, in, in that big pile of music that gets released every day. There is so much music being released every day. It's almost impossible to stand out. And if you can get like like a thousand plays on your song within the first couple of days, Spotify will help you. I think their algorithm is actually quite fair. Basically how it works, but this might be actually in another video, but the more plays you can get and the longer people listen to your song and do not skip, the more it will be featured on other people's profiles. If they do the same and like it and maybe even save it, it gets pushed even more. So the better your music, the more you make music that people actually enjoy listening to, the more it will be pushed. Then the latest two weeks before the release, you should start posting it public on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and whatnot. Just make sure people know that there is a release. Let them know about the date. Make sure they save that date, that they think about it. Play them a snippet, not the entire song, just make them curious about your new song and maybe tell them something personal about it. Um, the, the better you make your post, the more people will engage, the more engaged, the more it will be pushed. And this way you end up with more people listening to it, which again helps you on Spotify. And while all of this is going on, you're still writing emails to all of your contacts. And again, at the beginning, it might be really frustrating because you write those people and no one answers going to the Amsterdam dance event, if you're into electronic music, the dance fair or other events, festivals, meeting other bands, musicians, hanging out with them in the studio. All of the socializing can help you to, to actually accomplish more. You just need to be out there, be active. The more you do, the more will happen. Then of course, the most important day, the release day, here you post again your song. You can use a service um, like Toneden, which is collecting all music stores into one link. So you just have to post that one link and people can choose where to listen to Apple Music, YouTube, SoundCloud and whatnot. Post it on all of your socials. Don't forget the story function on Instagram. It's actually pretty strong. Embed the link where you can and do this for like the first three days at least and then every two days. Let the people know that that song is out there. Usually when you post, for example, on Facebook, just 10% of your following actually sees that post. So post 10 times to actually try and cover everyone. Here you could also invest a tiny bit of money into Facebook promotion, Instagram promotion. It's not really worth it for music. So just if you have a couple of spare dollars or euros to spend, because the thing is, even if you reach someone that actually clicks on your song and listens to it on Spotify, it's just like half a cent that you make from that. And you have to spend way more on Facebook to actually reach enough people. If you sell, I don't know, sunglasses that are 30 bucks, you spend the same amount to reach the same amount of people. But if someone buys, it's usually like, I don't know how much profit you make from sunglasses, but let's say 25 or 20 in your pocket. So promoting music is actually quite hard, but once you get to like an initial amount of people that actually listen to it, they might listen again to it. And, and this way you make your money. It's way smaller than with any other product, 
but it adds up. If you make a, a song that everyone wants to listen to, there will be plenty of money and streams coming towards you. But making a song like this just takes years to get the knowledge and everything. But again, another topic. So yeah, those are basically the things you should do and do in this order with that kind of time schedule. Whenever you release a song yourself, if you have a label, then usually all of the non-public promotion they will take care of. But it doesn't hurt if you do some additional stuff, but then please um, talk to your label. They might actually give your song exclusively to a YouTube channel and you ask another channel. Try to, to not cause any confusion there. Labels don't like that. I don't know if I forgot anything, but that's basically what we plan today for the next release on Friday. That's what we're doing almost every second day, taking care of, of these kind of contacts, contacting people. We sometimes write 100 YouTube channels and we have lists full of YouTube channels, Spotify playlist owners, and over the time you just filter out the ones that actually like you, like your music, support you, you meet them in person, it, it works better. It's really something that takes years. There is no way you make your first song, follow these steps and, and you will have huge success. That's just not the way it works. If you get in the first month to a thousand plays when you just start out, that's already a huge accomplishment. So I think by far the most important when it comes to this entire topic is make good music and just make constant good music and improve your music. Every release your promotion will get better, the song gets better, more people will help you and this way you will slowly but steady advance. That's just the way it is. Don't, don't be frustrated if it doesn't work with the first song. Don't finish a song and then promote it and not make in the background already the next song. You will then end up with a gap in your release schedule, usually like, I'd say at least six original songs, maybe even eight and maybe two or three remixes is good, at least if you're making electronic music and you're focused on Spotify. If you are more into underground stuff, then even more, I think 12 releases a year and just constantly put it out on Beatport. Speaking of Beatport, um, there it's also important to get into the charts um, of other artists. Still a lot of people post their charts on Beatport. If you can get a recommendation by one of the huge DJs, this will push you. And getting your fans or the fan base that you build up to, to buy your song on Beatport is quite important because what a lot of people don't know, I think 30 to 100 and, and you will actually enter the top 100 in a specific style and I think even if you make like 300 or 200 um, sales within a week you, you get into the general top 100. So it's not a lot that you need to get in there and once you're in there you get even more attention. That's why a lot of people actually fake buy their own stuff to get in there and then they make real sales if the song is good. I know entire labels that just build up everything um, this way. But this was like five years ago. Now it just doesn't work that good anymore. Beatport isn't that important anymore. But yeah, I hope I could help you. I hope you gained some insight. I hope you now get a rough time frame schedule, how to actually promote your music. I think I completely forgot talking about SoundCloud. I mean, of course, yes, once it's released on SoundCloud, you can do repost trades, but it's not working that good anymore. SoundCloud is really dying. I just today uploaded my last single back to back on SoundCloud. It gained like 200 plays within the first half day. On Spotify it's already at almost 100,000 plays so less and less people use it. Um, I still upload it there but I wouldn't invest that much time into trying to get repos. Um, it's, it's very inactive. Like less people write me, I write less people. It's just yeah, it's really that. Anyways, that's it for today. I will now concentrate on making music for the rest of the day and night and hopefully be back before midnight at home to be ready tomorrow morning back here in the studio. And then once I chose the track, I will share with you more about my music production process. Thanks a lot for watching. If I forgot anything, just mention it in the comments. If you have any questions in the comments, I will try and answer it. And we will see us tomorrow again back here in the studio for another vlog.